All right, well, welcome back to another exciting episode. Uh, the homework was to read Psalm 127 to Psalm 133. And the new homework is to read Psalm 134 to 140. So we're almost done with the book of Psalms. Now let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you love us and help us to choose to get to know you better. Help us to choose that we will devote our lives, we will put time aside to spend with you, to spend getting to know you. Help us to get to know you and to obey you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now in the Bible, in the book of Jeremiah, in chapter 30, in the last part of verse 21, God asks this question. God says, For who is he who will devote himself to be close to me? declares the Lord. For who is he who will devote himself to be close to me? Now, if God were to ask this question today, what would you say? Would you say, I'm here, God. I want to devote myself to get to know you better. Or do you not want to get to know God better? If you want to get to know Him better, you can. Nothing's stopping you. Nobody's stopping you. Um, and you have so many resources. I mean, most of you have access to the internet, but even if you don't, you have access to one of these. And you can get to know God better just by reading what he wrote. You know, I want to get to know God better. I want to devote myself to get to know God better. That's why I have a goal every day to read the Bible for an hour. It's not so that I can brag and be like, oh, I read the Bible. It's, it's so that I can get to know God, so that I can know what God wants me to do, so I can know what is God like? God's thoughts. What are God's thoughts? What are God's thoughts for the world and for people and for me? What is God's character, his personality traits? What are the his patterns of action? Like in a certain situation, how does God act or react? Of course, we can never say for sure exactly how God will act, but if you read and study God's Word, the Bible, then you get a feel for what does God want in this world? What does God want in my life? So I would encourage you, if you haven't already, choose to devote yourself to be close to God. For who is he who will devote himself to be close to me, declares the Lord. Please, today, right now, choose, say, God, I choose to devote myself to be close to you. Even if it means reading the Bible more, even if it means doing less of other stuff, help me to get to know you better. It won't happen automatically. If you just put the Bible on your head, it won't have some osmosis where you just magically know what's in this book. You have to open it up and read it for yourself. And you can read. And if we're honest with each other, you have five minutes every day that you could spend getting to know God better if you want to. So I'm begging you, please, want to get to know God better and don't just be like oh yeah I, I decide I will do it and then you don't do anything actually do it even if you have to do it right now after this video or set a time every morning or every night whether it's right before you go to bed or right after you get up set a time or find a time in the day that works for you spend time 
getting to know God. Devote yourself to be close to the Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you give us this option. Forgive us that we, we don't use this option very much or like we should. Help us, Lord, each of us, to choose, I devote myself to being close to the Lord. Because, Lord, there are many things in life, but you are the best one. Help us not to neglect you. Help us not to be close to other things instead of being close to you. In Jesus' name, amen.